Hey there, YouTube friends. Mass Bandit here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I always do appreciate it. Welcome back to Azuri Garden. So welcome back, Jauncey. Hello. Hello. And we ha are kind of going way into what you kind of set up for us last time with the um, African market area. So that's uh -huh. what we're going to be watching the time well, lapse today. It wasn't even last time. It was it was before Sylve got hold of the park. Actually, oh, that's so true. it's been a while. That's true. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Guess right, because your last episode you were working on shoring up the uh, Silverbank area. Uh -huh. That's right. So, yeah, I took a lot of inspiration this time from Animal Kingdom, specifically the Harambe Market, because mm -hmm. that's kind of what we thought we wanted to go with this. And so, yeah. a lot of these buildings, at least this one in particular, is is actually the Harambe Theater that I right. use, and I still don't know what this is going to be. So. It's just a bigger building. Well, the ones yeah. I the, the ones I did were based on that Harambe village as well because the, you can kind of go a couple of different ways with African, right? You can kind of go full on like tribal, I guess mm -hmm. you'd call it. Like, not I don't want to say it's not tiki, is it? But you know that kind of no, like masks but the thatch and, and, yeah, and, the, and yeah. the mud and the, just, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can kind of go that way, or then you can go this way. Like, I, I, it's not necessarily more realistic, I guess, but you know, a bit more sort of grounded, perhaps. Yeah, a bit yeah. more actually based off of actual places as opposed to what you think of when you think of, uh -huh. I guess, maybe Africa. But yeah, so it's it was a productive. I, I had an extra week, um, but I actually felt like I was in a good place where the last couple of days I hopped ship and started working on uh, conifer slopes, actually. So. What? <laughs> well, it's summertime now. I've got more time to play. I guess so. So are you, are you all done with school now then? Are you I all finished am. up? Yeah, I'm awesome. done till August. So uh, the only thing that's standing in my way now is that big old bro trip that's coming up. Yeah, next looking week forward already. to that, though. So I know you'll be there. We'll finally get to meet in person. Uh huh. So I had an, you had an extra week this week. Was that because of the Frontier trip I did, or? Uh, or was it? You asked if I wanted another week. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, I know I would like another one. And it just so happened to coincide with E3. And all yeah. that stuff, and you've been all a busy bee with all that. Yeah, well, Planet Zoo, man, is uh, it's going to be a big one for both of us, I think. To be I honest with you, so. but I'm kind of I'm riding the 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 sort of uh, release train a little with it, because mm -hmm. um, you know it's uh, the big difference between yourself and myself with YouTube is. My my one pays the mortgage, so like I have to. <laughs> and my have to kind of beer. <laughs> I have to kind of churn out the uh, right the speculation. And you know bits what? You're stuff. so much bigger and more SEO optimized than I am. That you know, mm -hmm. just to get technical, that like those videos for me wouldn't pull a lot anyway for the amount of yeah. time I'd have to put for how quick of a turnaround I'd have to do. Yeah, you know. The oh, with those with those things, there. you kind of ha it's like if you're not first, you're last. It's a bit of right, a Ricky, exactly. Bo Ricky Bobby kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. you've got to you've got to get them out there. So, exactly. um, so yeah. So Planet Zoo. Yeah, um, we had the E3 uh, ga gameplay trailer. They called it. I, I think they kind of misnamed that. I think they should have called it in-game trailer. In-game. Yep. In-game. Didn't engine really. Footage. I mean, yeah, it was to show that it wasn't just a pre-rendered, but there wasn't yeah. really much gameplay there, really. You know? No, we saw some trainers scoop and yeah. poop. Or doing, sucking doing the poop. job. Right. I um, there's a bit of a running gag between myself and David Crossland, who's the guy who does the visual effects for Frontier. Mm -hmm. um, and he he uh, he tweeted saying that like his proudest moments in gaming is uh, all the lovely comments about the hippo poop <laughs> in that trailer because <laughs> oh, yeah. that was well, that was his work. <laughs> you know what I really found impressive is they wag their tail like that. That's yeah, really exactly. Out. That's it. Like they it is spot on. on. <laughs> <laughs> they got it just right. And somebody yeah. tweeted on, uh, I think it was on Best in Slots video about it. Somebody somebody commented, sorry, saying, you just know that some visual effects guys had to sit there watching <laughs> videos of hippos poo. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and he, uh, he screen capped <laughs> it and tweeted saying, you have no idea. <laughs> <Absolutely. That's laughs> um, awesome. And then there's a bit of a running gag with my videos featuring poo and pee a lot. Like... Uh, like in Two Point Hospital, we had a lot of issues with guests uh, oh, that's relieving right. I themselves and that stuff. On your yeah, yep, and yep, um, yep. and it was—I so, can't remember what the other game was, but there's another. Oh, it was Academia. It was like a school. It was like Prison Architect for schools. It was that one. Okay. And uh, and if you don't build toilets in that, they go and do it in the bushes. And there's like there's like oh uh, yellow patches under the bushes. So and, and and Dave always comments about it, saying, "Oh, you know, geek is sponsored by uh, ur urinary infections and stuff." <laughs> <laughs> and well, he, speaking uh, of that. Actually, we're building a restroom. <laughs> and look at that. It just uh, happens again. Yeah. <laughs> so he commented saying that the uh, the hippo poo was uh, dedicated to geekism. I was like, well, I, I, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you get the shit um, dedicated to Yeah. 
But it was it, it was probably the best bit of the trailer. Is the one thing that everyone's commenting about, like, oh that's, my god, look at that fair. realistic yeah, poop mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> Ever thought you'd say that, huh? <laughs> it's yeah. going to become the new picnic benches or, or uh, you know, yeah. ar- Archer scale. It's going right, to be poop, right, right. poop mechanics. <laughs> Hashtag realistic poop. <laughs> But, should, yeah, we you should just really... call. You should just call the episode that realistic poop. Just there you to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, this restroom that I'm building, speaking of poop, is actually modeled after my home zoo. Um, ah, I thought uh, you your home. No. Like, wow, that's a posh no. bathroom. <laughs> no, the Houston Zoo. I was there a couple weeks ago and uh, snapped some photos. And I've always really liked this building. This is in their African area, where mm-hmm. they have the gorillas and the chimpanzees. So, and this is like when you, we were talking about about different styles. This is African. This is a bit more on the st- like stereotypical Africa, I guess. Yeah, like, yeah. But I, I love it, and I saw someone I forget who on Bro Nation do this for um, water fountains, and they actually these are actually the water fountain style they have at the zoo. So I was really excited I got this to work. Oh, okay. With the, yeah, the planters as I forget who it was. Yeah, but you've used something similar on the the other bathroom round by the Roctopus, I think. Oh, did I? Yeah, I yeah, I think so. That's where we saw it because I remember I remember seeing it in the oh, Bronation. Okay, okay. I and I really, really liked what you did with the uh, power lines and all that. So I actually ended up stealing uh-huh. your power line. And no, that's good. Yeah, over. you want them all over the place. That was one of the things I noticed about Harambe Village, and also the entrance area, like Islands of Adventure. Lots of. Uh, like banners and ropes mm-hmm. and stuff, you know. Yeah, we could probably do with more of that in our actual mm-hmm. entrance area now that I'm thinking about it. It's difficult because it's quite an open area. I did look at doing it at the time, but it was it's quite open. Yeah, it's difficult it's to get stuff span. going right across. Yeah. 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 So yeah, this is a really this came together fairly quickly, um, but just your standard restroom. Like I, I think we always think we have too many like food options or restaurant or uh, mm-hmm. restroom options, but then you actually go to a park and. You can't walk two feet without seeing one of them. Yeah, we, um, me and the wife were in Canada's Wonderland this weekend for my birthday, which is why the video is a day late, by the way. Sorry, oh, that's yeah. my, my yeah, fault. Yeah. Um, and we actually noticed how there weren't so many restrooms around and really? actually commented on it saying, God, normally you can't turn a corner without them. Uh, and there was a few times there where we, we actually sort of had to go out of our way to go and find one. Yeah, huh. but like I said, but we, know, we, we were very aware that that doesn't normally happen normally right. like you say they are they're everywhere right and food right. especially in gift shops there's, there's always some way to spend money because that's i think really that's how theme parks make money i, I don't think admission sales um, no. are really well, where was, the profit's coming from right because i was looking at I, mean, I see your point tickets and like the package deals you can get like oh, unlimited entry for two months for sixty dollars like yeah that's a major hit uh huh. I can't imagine. You're right. It's all in the merch and the food sales. It's just getting I mean, you through the door, right? Yeah. And then they can mark up on whatever they like and stuff. You know, stuff's really expensive. At Canada's Wonderland, we bought the. They do like a drinks thing. It's like thirty dollars, I think, and you get one of those sort of plastic oh, yeah, cups, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and you can refill them up. And Nicola was like, "Do you really think it's worth it?" And I was like, "Well, like a bottle of just a regular bottle of Coke is like five dollars, yeah. you know." So while you're in the you park, to it's have, totally worth it. Yeah, so you need to have three of them and go, you know, and go. Yeah. I've, I've been to Canada's Wonderland five, four times now, you know, so I've more than got my money's worth out of these things. You've got to, oh, you've got to really awesome. weigh up whether it's whether it's worth it for you. But oftentimes, uh, you know, those those like you say, those deals yeah. they usually are the better way to go. Yep, if you're going to spend all day there for sure. Uh, but we've here back to the video. We've totally switched gears now, mm-hmm. and we're working on a splash pad. I was gonna say these look like lockers or like mm-hmm. changing rooms. They're little changing rooms for uh. your splash pad. And uh, I asked you if you were down with that idea, and so that's what we work on here in this large chunk. And when I posted a picture of this, <laughs> people were <laughs> like, "Well, those animals clearly couldn't coexist together." <laughs> and to be fair, I think the hippos would kill the crocodiles. The hippos are yeah, the more hippos dangerous are animals. hippos kill like a lot of humans. Yeah, they're the biggest threat in the Nile yeah. for sure. But these are not supposed to be real animals, uh, uh, mm-hmm. I, I, obviously. So the <laughs> issue is um, the crocodiles are really big. I used the really big ones yeah. to make it pretty clear, but then they only have one size hippo. So. Ah, oh, do they? That? Yeah. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. So this is, I kind of borrowed from the Omaha Zoo. Uh, they have this giant splash pad that's themed to uh, a like Alaskan coastline. And so they have like full life-size 
orcas, and they have like the fluke of a humpback whale, all life size, as part of their splash pad. So that was the inspiration here. I figured I'd go African river animals, and we have two. So (laughs) I used the two I had. That's cool. I, the, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm quite a new um, sort of proponent of splash pads. They're not, they're not really a thing in the UK. Uh, really? I'm, well, just because the weather, you know, we just don't really oh, have okay. the weather for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're everywhere here in Canada, and um, like all the, all all parks have them, mm-hmm. and and also most most just like regular municipal parks have got got them in as well, just like smaller ones, yeah. uh, for just for kids, you know, to, just sure. sort of free. Um, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a, but I'm a big fan of them, and Xander absolutely loves them, he oh, loves, yeah. loves water. We're actually uh, but I've, going to one tomorrow. <laughs> oh, awesome. But I've not in seen one like this that's really sort of themed, you know, all the yeah. ones I've seen are just kind of like pipes, and maybe they're, maybe they meant to look, maybe they make the pipes look like flowers or something, I guess, but you know, nothing really to this extent with the right. uh, no, sort check of out, animals uh, and stuff. Omaha, the, the Henry Dorley Zoo, the splash oh. pad, and, and it's, it's incredible i guess it's seals and whales and yeah. birds yeah it's really wow. cool yeah it's really cool so that was my main inspiration had a hard time though like judging the height <laughs> like when you read yeah. it in real time the the uh the water might be a little uh, too intense for children. A little intense yeah i think i think you i think maybe more of the spouty ones as opposed to the sprays you know like those mm-hmm. ones you've got there mm-hmm. i think you see more of those than just like Gushery. gushes of water, you right. know, yeah. 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 The ones that and, kids and can put their hands over to stop, right. and, you know. Yeah. Right. That, and I think they're too tall. Like, they're yeah. really tall. But <laughs> for a first go, for a first pass, I can always go in and tweak it. So, oh, And again, it's, it's part of the Planko scale. Like, you can only use the of smallest course. ones. So. Yeah, there's only so much you can do, right? Yeah, but then I thought having the alligator spit in water would be fun, so we did that. Too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's a very good. <laughs> I like it. I like the use of the animals. You. Thanks. And so I, the hard thing here was actually figuring out how to merge it into what's already there. And you'll see, mm-hmm. I, I didn't really, didn't really know how to do that. So mm-hmm. making it look kind of built in to the area without it sticking out was was a challenge. So yeah, but meh, so yeah. I'd... So why um why you work on that? Let's talk about the other sort of big frontier thing lately. Uh, Ghostbusters. Have you have you messed much with that? I have it, um, yeah, but that's as far as I got. <laughs> I <laughs> okay. have it. Um, yeah. I have not touched the Ghostbuster thing, and and completely honest, I'm probably never going to play this campaign or this mm-hmm. scenario. That's not what I play this game for. Yeah, I mean, I'm working through it for YouTube, and it's mm-hmm. it's quite it's kind of fun. But I think I don't I don't know whether I would probably have touched it otherwise. Uh, you right. know. Um, but it's okay. But it, what I was the reason I ask really is I think a couple of those wall sets could lend themselves to this kind of area. Yes. Obviously, with a bit of work, I yes. think I think they could uh, they could actually be quite useful, especially because really they've got those nice uh, smaller smaller windows built in. You know. Yep. Uh, and actually, um, I ended up putting in some of the graffiti. At oh the very yeah. End. Uh, most of this was built before that pack came out, though. Right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Or before I had had it myself. This is looking exciting. Is this like a little like a uh, little tiki bar type yeah, thing? Yeah, it's gonna be an outdoor yeah. bar. Yeah, uh, there's a bar here in Houston called the Moon Tower Inn, and uh-huh. it's an old shipping container like that that they've turned into a tap. And I think they have two, and the other one is the actual kitchen. Uh-huh, okay. And yeah, so you sit outside and you pour your beer straight from the straight from the uh, storage container there. So awesome. Yeah, I went ahead and built a little outdoor bar area, and so that's the building that's connected to. There's, that's what we're going. And that little cup trick, I love that. It's yeah, those that's lights. good. Yeah, Security those... lights or something, right? Like right. Oh, one of the police ones from studios, I think it is. I think yeah. so. I think so. Yeah. So and then, of course, we've got to throw in all of our uh, known uh, <laughs> yeah type th- uh, goose, goose bandit yeah. IPA. <laughs> yep, and I did not change yours. I, I showed okay. you a picture of this, and we'll I'll yeah. have to change it. We'll so, what did that, you like? Yeah. You like it to be? Uh, yes, yeah, so you've done pills in there, which is fine. But um, the keen Planko YouTube watchers will remember a long time ago in Jubilee Gardens, um, they actually built a a pub, a British pub called the Jaunty Sparrow. Mm-hmm. And uh, and they asked me to do like a graphic for a billboard and the, and to advertise a beer like an old school you know like the old uh, my goodness my Guinness kind of adverts yeah you know? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, so I did one for a, a drink called Sparrow's Best which ah. I thought sounded incredibly British and proper it absolutely does <laughs> uh, so we'll change yeah. that. <laughs> 
Um, got to keep the continuity. Gotta so keep I thought the, that's uh, a good. Well, that's it. You know, the whole the whole Planet Zoo showing that there's like gulpy cardboard boxes and stuff, yeah. and they're like, yeah, we, you're not the first to do world building. We us guys <laughs> doing Planko, <laughs> we've been doing years. world building for years now. Yeah, right. Exactly. Just because nobody watches us doesn't mean we haven't been doing it. <laughs> <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> yeah, I did struggle because like I'm like, oh, more wood and stuff. But I looked. Yeah. Uh, part of the thing I really wanted to make sure I, I got the materials right. And yeah. in the um, in Harambe Village, in Harambe Market, in Animal Kingdom, there's a lot of wood, a lot of mixed materials, and so I really yeah. did try to. to yeah, to definitely, nail that and we wood. and we've already got the sort of full wood area, you know. So mm-hmm. here we've got to make sure we get like, uh, yeah, like a, a mix. I find it quite like industrial as well. I, I noticed a lot of the material was quite industrial. Uh, Are like, you, you talking? Know, just like sheet, there'd be like a lot of sheet metal yeah, or yeah, you know yeah. chain fence and stuff. And not used necessarily as just a, you know, the guests can't see it. Actually using it as part of the theme, you know? Right. No, you're right. It, uh, much more just utilitarian, I think. Yeah. And a lot of just stuff thrown all over yeah. the place, kind of, is what I was going for. So, yeah, but you're right. The Ghostbuster pack, to kind of track back to that, there, I think there's going to be a bunch of stuff in there that we... I was surprised. I was ready to hate, hate on that pack real hard. And, um, yeah, it was difficult because that was obviously one of the things we saw at um, at the Frontier Development Studio tour the other week, and it wasn't so bad with Planet Zoo because nobody, like, there was no Planet Zoo info out really. Mm-hmm. So even though I knew stuff, it was right. fine because I was like, ah, there's an NDA coming, that's all good. But it was really difficult with the Ghostbusters because everyone was like, oh my god, like fifteen dollars just for a just for a small pack like this. And I'm like, oh, it's really hard to say. Actually, no, this is actually pretty. <laughs> beefy and okay so perhaps folks like us aren't particularly interested in the scenario but uh you know you can't deny that that's a lot of content going there you know for a lot of people who probably are into that kind of thing absolutely so but i think it's time for us to uh move on to the well we're in the real time portion currently so Uh let's take a look at what we got in real time now so yeah, I thought a good place for us to start today would be here by the splash pad because that kind of starts the entrance to all the stuff I worked on today. So okay. here's your up close and personal look at where am I? What am I on? Oh, I'm on a major incline. No wonder. Jeez, major there you go. Incline. So here's a look at your splash pad. Oh, yeah, I like those. Mm-hmm. Those are the sort of things I'm used to seeing, those pipes at the back. I, yeah. I, I'd, be, I'd be honest with you, I, think, I, got, I do think you're going to have to tone down those spurts. Because like oh, the yeah. one that the one that goes off in the middle here, where is it? There's one that's on a, on a timer. Oh, where has it gone there? That one. one there, that one. That would <laughs> that would, ki- that would kill an under three. <laughs> like just absolutely wipe them out. <laughs> you didn't know that our splash pad was a high intensity thrill. That ride. would absolutely just like waterboard and toddlers. Like just <laughs> <laughs> blow the clothes right off the kid. <laughs> But yeah, I did. Yeah. I added those pipes there. I thought that was a nice touch. They look really good, yeah. Time lapse and a close yeah. up here of your, of the, uh, just simple. Yeah, little... they, they look they look great. I love the fact that the doors are slightly off the ground. That's a really nice little touch. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I appreciate mm-hmm. it. Yeah, because you'd have to. We'll be doing that tomorrow. We're going to the zoo again tomorrow. We are season pass holders, so and the zoo yeah. has a splash pad, so that's where I'll be. Do you, find, do you find you go a lot more to those places when you get season passes, right? Oh, absolutely. Because we've done it, yeah. yeah. And when you, you have you little really ones, there. and when you have little ones in a summer, and you got to get through it, you go to the uh-huh. zoo once a week. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we go well, we were saying uh, we took Xander on the carousel uh, the the other day at Canada's Wonderland, and there was a little girl on the next horse over who was about the same age as him, who just wouldn't sit, and like the mom was trying to get to, and she just wasn't having any of. It. And Xander was just like sat there holding on to the thing, and he pats the horse and says, "Good boy." Like he pats the horse and goes, "Good boy, good boy." Like this, and she's like, "Oh, he's sitting so well. How'd you get in?" I was like, "To be fair, like I think he thinks it's just part of his routine. He goes on a carousel about once a week at the minute." <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because if, we, if we're not if we're not at Canada's Wonderland, there's a smaller like kitty park near us called right. uh, Storybook Gardens that's got a carousel as well. Mm-hmm. So I think he's just like, "Oh, I'm on the horse again. Must be Sunday." Like <laughs> just it's just part of his <laughs> it's my life. Annual, so it's my <laughs> Sunday horse ride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go. Here's the restroom from the time lapse. A little bit in person here. So you walk in. That was my only concern. Is you walk in and you see restrooms. You restrooms. Uh, yeah. We can always, we can always pull that. We can pull that sign back a little, couldn't we? Mm-hmm. You know, they could come towards us a little, maybe. Sure. Uh, I, tilt, I, I did offset it a little bit so it wasn't yeah. quite framing the restroom as perfectly. Yeah. So, but yeah, we can totally change it for sure. So. 
Uh, this little build in here is a Dune Delight. And these canopies are off mm -hmm. the Theme Maker's Toolkit. Okay. And they are glorious. I love yeah. them. Yeah. Totally They're really good because, yeah, we tried to do stuff like that near the entrance, right, with art shapes. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we might actually, re might actually replace them if possible. Mm. So, but... Uh, you mentioned you wanted to have a lot of seating, and while I didn't do one open area, like I think you were originally anticipating, uh -huh. I did try to cram as many tables in as I could. Yeah. Um, to kind I of like be this. like... I like these, um, that little bit of that sort of half wall there by the tables. Yeah, that looks to really kind nice. of delineate. Oh. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, penny presses. Nice. Mm -hmm. Those are from actually No Name Landia. Uh, uh -huh, they're, they're good. From no Name Landia, so we got those in there now. Uh, nothing has changed here. Your work is still completely intact. Uh -huh. uh, here's a better look I, at her. Can ahead. I just say, I did move the sign. A lot of people mentioned it, the poster there. It's just a blackboard at the moment on the right, on the other building, sorry. The this black one? billboard there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I you, forgot you to the ask file. For that back. Yeah, so it, so it said something like South African grapefruit, mm -hmm. um, but that pipe covered the G of grapefruit. <laughs> like... <laughs> <laughs> Oh Everyone my was gosh. Like, <laughs> I, I didn't know this, but loads of comments were like, you need to either move the pipe or, mil or move, move the, the billboard. <laughs> okay, so you have, so, yeah. it's just we so can't the, see yeah, the proof. Yeah, it, so it, the billboard is, it. It is fixed, so you'll, we'll show you that on the next one. Yeah, I forgot to send you the pictures over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness. So here you go. Here's your, you can see there's some Ghostbusters. I actually really like this oh, yeah. marshmallow sign. See, that there. looks great. I love how it's like, because it's, it's vintage, right? It's mm -hmm. all, it's all it's scruffy aged, and it stuff. Looks, right. I Perfect. think it looks good. Yeah. Uh, 59 is actually in a highway near me. So that's okay. a little Easter egg for Houston. Nice. We're open, have AC, and then you can that's see good. the AC unit kind of in yeah. between there. So just, that looks you know, great. the store. Can I, can I just ask while I think about it, is, is Stay Puffed a real brand? I don't know. I don't think so. Or if it is, is it it's been is made it one since the movie? Maybe. Also, I know, don't know. I'm like, used to yeah. Jet. Is it Jet Puff? I, don't, I really don't know. Marshmallows aren't a big deal in the UK. You just buy okay. whatever the supermarkets ones are. You know, I can't think oh. of a brand of marshmallows specifically. Yeah, I think Jet Puff is the one I'm most familiar with. All right. So this should be... Oh, here we go. Sparrow's Best. There we go. Look at this. Live building. Boom. Look at that very often. Oh, it's dead little. <laughs> Spar oh, it did. Let's see. Can we make it better? Sparrow's Best. Nope. Nope. There we go. <laughs> That's the little one. Little tiny yeah, one. It's a little one. What kind of ale is Sparrow's best? It's a one? it's a stout. Oh, is it really? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I do enjoy the stouts. Yeah, just so. you don't get them so often. Right. But why not? Cool. And oh, I oh look gave at us, the floor there. I gave us a backstage exit here. Okay, nice. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's good. just that's the um, World's Fair. I think it's actually like the Asian. Okay. Or maybe the Roman? Just with There's the colors toned down a bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then this is my take on the Harambe um, Oh, that's good. Theater. Yeah. yeah. I don't... Maybe it's a big gift shop. Maybe it's a big sit-down restaurant. My thought was sit-down uh -huh. restaurant. Yeah, I think I a, stole... a good sit-down restaurant. Because we haven't really got one of those yet, really. Oh, we've got Sharp Bait uh, right around mm -hmm. the front, right? Mm -hmm. That's... Yeah, this is about time for another one, probably. And we need to... F I need to fill in in here and add a whole bunch of tables in there. This and some is outdoor totally, seating as well, yeah. Yeah, this is totally ripped off of uh, Animal Animal Kingdom. So. That looks great, though. And then I did one That's more really building good. over here. Oh, and my this word, is where you've been I, busy. Yeah, I know. I really tried to do that brick stucco look here. Yeah. And I sunk you in You did a really good job of it, especially above the uh, above the store there. That looks... Uh, well, around the store, actually. Yeah, all around the store there. That looks really good. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, around the actual sort of store entrance, yeah. It's a style I am so not familiar with. Yeah, yeah. The wooden chief beef signs have a bit of some like depth oh, to them. Yeah, look at that. So they look really. N the cosmic cow one works really well too. I don't know if I actually kept it on there, but yeah, yeah. the wooden ones are those. That's good. And Moshi's. Oh, I forget uh -huh. what that is. It might be barbecue. No, um, bird. Uh, it's a Swahili word for something that they serve. It might be. Steak okay. Or meat or something. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah. good. So that's, me so that's meats. Words. Meats burger place. That one yeah. is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff. <laughs> so then, let me get out of here, and we'll take a look at it in a little overview section, and you can see better how it's all laid out. So there you go. Uh -huh. This is. Oh how it's yeah. Coming okay. Together. That's and then really good. I figured we can meet back up here. 
Just yeah. kind of swing it around if we want into the safari. Into Otherwise, safari, yeah. you go that way to the safari. Yeah. I think that'd be fun. I think um, I think the the other entrance sign there, we could totally sort of line that up with the edge of the ride there. I think to Over move here. it away from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think mm -hmm. that would be no problem at all sure. to move it just a little bit away from the restroom and just have that path line come sort of down round the ride. And then rounds, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we can I have think. some stuff over here. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe chimps. Okay. Because they're That's African, good. but they're not going to be on the safari, right? Right, I wouldn't so, think so. Yeah. And it looks like we have coaster here. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it looks like we do. Okay. Looks like we have a coaster there, which is going to be your one, I think? I think so. I think I'm going to yeah. try for it. Yeah, I think yeah. so. I was been, I, that's what I've been doing in Ghana for. I've been practicing yeah. my coasters. Bit of a Af African theme, maybe carry this carry this mm -hmm. African theme into I the station. So. I, I think, think that'll so. work quite well. Uh, this looks really great. Uh, yeah, you're right. It isn't quite as open as I originally planned, but I, it still looks perfect. It's still awesome. I love this. You haven't talked about the ground you've done here. These sort of pe the oh, cobbles. These are. Yeah. Um, who makes these? This is Emacs Magnus. Actually, they are over here. These are his in-game terrain replacements. Wow! Look yeah. at these. So actually, like wherever, so we don't have to have stupid triangle planters anymore. Like here, here's one. Yeah. See, and ah. he's made them. The colors match the actual ground. That's really good. The only issue is Ghostbusters. Apparently, they tweak the asphalt texture. Yeah, or I read about that on Bro Nation. Yeah, the, the so it screwed up a one of them. But he's got textures. Texture I love covers. that. I love that one that looks like dirt, like a like tire tracks. Is it? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And just sink that, that in still, or oh no, no, it's yeah. more like cobblestone, right? It, that would be the cobblestone. Yeah. Whoa, that'd probably if we uh, take all of it. Oh, go. so these these aren't um, theme makers. These no, these, are, oh these are God. In -game, wow, yeah. they're high. Their piece counts. Yeah, crazy, that's four hundred right? pieces right there, <laughs> which is why I used it sparingly. Yeah, but this one, the one I've been using for the most part. So, what is pieces is is that that he's made? There? The, that cobblestone one above that you've used, not that one. That they're wooden planks, I think. But the, uh, yeah, that one there. What pieces are those? Ancient statue mouths. Oh, like the bottom ancient of the mouths and stuff. Ancient statue ears. Yeah, it's ah. all the ancient statue pieces. Oh, that's that's clever. really clever, yeah, because mm -hmm. I've, I've, a few times I've looked at doing that kind of flooring and struggled to find stuff that works, like trying to use pieces of rocks and stuff, but they're just yeah. not smooth enough, not flat no, enough. No, I tried to use the, ancient, the, the ruined castle texture, and yeah. then same thing. The only issue I was running into is that this area is not actually flat. No, there's <laughs> so a very slight. If you don't have line, completely right? flat, it's a total pain in the arse to yeah. to get it to work. So, but yeah, this has been my two weeks, and I think I'm pretty happy with how it went. It took a while yeah. to figure out what I wanted to do and where I wanted it to go. No, I think it's I think it's really great. I think you've brought you've brought life to what was quite a sort of bland uh, uh, yeah i, I kind of i did the two buildings and the the main reason i stopped was because i did i couldn't figure out what was next right you didn't and, want a, um, i didn't want a whole bunch of these buildings so yeah yeah but we've got them i think they fit really well with what they i tie added. in with what you've done yeah definitely. i think so so and i think um i think i think the one you've done the right there is pretty much what i would have done so very similar the the big one on the right uh -huh. um, yeah, but the rest of the stuff, I I, I, I couldn't have seen that. I think now, uh, now it's there. I think it looks uh, looks glad. fantastic. Looks nice and I'm all, full. I'm, and, I'm always nervous, yeah. like because when I no, it looks great. From <laughs> when I start something new, it's always like. I, hope I think um, yeah, I think it's it's given me a good setting off point. I, the one thing I'd like to have a go at, I've said this a while now, is is chimps. I'd like to do like a chimp island, mm -hmm. especially having seen the chimps in Planet Zoo and Boy, getting really excited what you're about saying, them. Yeah, if what you said in your video is it's true. true. I I asked her. I sat there and asked her four times. Like she's like, any <laughs> questions? Sure? I was like, yeah. I said, is that piece by piece that the? That's not piece by. I said, that's not piece by piece building that the that the chimps are crawling over. Is it? And she's like, yeah, yeah. Is you, everything's piece by? I was like, yeah, but like you've got so many set pieces right so there's like an a-frame and there'll be like a platform and like a like a like a monkey bars like you know like bars to walk mm -hmm. on, like and you can place them down and she's like no no they're individual That's like nice. beams of wood i was like no no like they're not <laughs> <laughs> like I didn't believe her. I was like, no, that can't be. That's not how it works, surely. And that's she was like, yeah, yeah. Do, they're yeah. all they're all completely individual pieces of wood. And I was like, jeez, that's just <laughs> that's just crazy. Yeah. That, so I, I can see, I can see, not only can I see really great exhibits that people make, I can see people doing like chimp races. 
Oh. Like, build, like building like an obstacle course and putting food at the other end of it. Absolutely. <laughs> See, and working on this with all this Planet Zoo stuff swirling around has just gotten me really excited for Planet yeah, Zoo. Yeah, I thought it could have gone either way, right? Like when Planet Zoo was announced, the very first thought was like, oh, God, like we spent six months building a version right. of this where the animals don't move, you know? Yep. But yep. Uh, actually, the more I see of it, the more it makes me want to come in here and sort of uh, practice, for want of a better word, I guess, you know? Yeah, no, I, I totally get mm-hmm. it. I totally agree. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, well, I think so. What are you going to be working on then next time? I think, I'm either, I can't decide whether to, to begin the safari, mm-hmm. um, at least sort of the entrance, and try and sort of figure out where it sits with this large backstage area here on the left. Mm-hmm. Which will also have to come up to these buildings here, right? Like that's all yeah. going to be. I mean, it like kind of does already. Yeah. So, so that's so, but, but it's going to be two. It's going to be like multiple tiers. So mm-hmm. maybe have a go at that. Or the other the other option would be to like behind the splash pad and balloon ride. Look at doing uh, a chimp uh, a chimp island. I think that wouldn't be bad to kind of finish off the African area because mm-hmm. below that here is going to be. I, I think we're going to go try and do like a bit of an American. North American area with like bears and wolves and stuff, right? I thought we were gonna go Asian with uh, uh, oh oh yeah, or Asian with um, and tigers and stuff as well. So yeah, maybe it may be Asian. With the I way know. the wolves look on Planet Zoo, I'm okay holding up. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. They do look <laughs> awesome. I think a good. I th- that's one thing I'd like because we've only seen two themes so far. I hope they bring in a third theme that's kind of like a a, a really a sort of stereotypically in unsympathetic. North American teepees and yeah, yeah, uh, totem uh, totem poles and stuff. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. That's what I'd like to see. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. what I'd like to see. So, so cool. Well, I will send the file over to you, and you can get cracking on that right away. Awesome sauce. Because <laughs> you're you're not busy with anything else. No, oh, no. We I, do well, I'm not there really. Actually, um, this is probably it for a while. I think now because. We won't have a much of a chance unless you'll be... If you want to do it in a week, we can maybe get something done. Uh, yeah, depending on how much I get out of this week. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I think at least I think the Planet Zoo stuff will calm down a little now after E3. Um, mm-hmm. So if I can get enough done for this weekend. But yeah, the weekend after uh, or week after is it's Cedar Point, right? Yeah, so, like I leave, yeah. I leave Sunday and I won't be yeah. back till July 1st. So this could be potentially it for a while. For a couple of weeks, yeah. Yep. Okay. So if it kind of goes dark again, it's just because summer plans. Stuff but you'll on. see, yeah. yeah. But you'll hopefully see vlogs from both of us. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got a, a Canada Wonderland vlog coming to Parkgasm this week as well. Oh, oh and I tell you what, I have done total blatant plug. Uh, I have a Longleat Safari Park vlog gone on to Parkgasm this week as well, which is good. So if you're interested in sort of Azuri Gardens and Planet Zoo and stuff. Uh, you can go and check that out. It's got lots of like uh, animal exhibits and stuff. Well, hell, I'll have to yeah. make a Houston Zoo vlog tomorrow. Yeah, why not? <laughs> All the zoo vlogs. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, I look forward to seeing what you do whenever we get around to looking at it. Cool. So, yeah. Well, with that being said, I guess that's going to do it for us. And so uh, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Leave a like. Leave some comments down below. And if you haven't already, so make sure you subscribe to John T's channel. And with all that being said, have yourself a great day, great night, great whatever, and I will see all of you for the next episode of Uzuri Gardens. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.